This is what people in Chicago call pizza. Why can't I find a decent slice in the city instead of this stupid bull? I couldn't find a single place that sold real pizza. Just these deep dish dough dumpsters. This isn't pizza. This isn't even human food. After hours of only deep dish, I finally found a place that served delicious, normal pizza pie. The Cook County Jail. That's right. Oh my the God. best pizza in the That Chicago is great. Is the you know, from Comedy Central's The Daily Show, where he's a senior correspondent, now Ronnie Chang's back in town to help cover the Democratic National Convention. I tell you, this is like our, our running joke, Ronnie, that it's like any time everybody, it's like, oh, you're Italian beef and you're pizza. Oh, yeah. And, yeah. yeah. I, I think in these times of uh, deep political division, we can all agree <laughs> that deep dish sucks. Yeah. I think it's, a, <laughs> it's not an inflammatory thing. No. You know what? I actually, my theory is that I don't think, I don't even think that Chicago people eat deep dish. Fish. No. It's, it's just it's like, like a tourist thing right. that you can do to like, oh, in Chicago we're known for deep dish, but you yeah. got, Chicago right. people don't even like that. No, it's yeah. like a treat. Yeah. It's like yeah, every now and then. It's yeah. not like what it's you not order. A thing. It's yes. not even a thing. Yeah. And, and by you. the way, Chicago, great uh, um, respect for food here. Great restaurant yes. culture here. Yeah. yeah. I'm not now just because I watched. Now crashed us. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'm trying to make yeah. it out in the city without. No, uh, our bosses would never reimburse us for for that. You spend a ton of money there on pizza. Oh yeah, we were throwing pizzas. But you know, I hate to date myself, but that. That was from the last time. This wasn't even this. That, oh, this, really? that was from like out before that 2018, I think. Yeah. That, oh, okay. that, that video is like kind of outdated now. Okay. Yeah. Still works. Still <laughs> works. Yeah, still, <laughs> some stuff is timeless. Still. Some stuff is timeless. Uh, Throwing pizza off the bridge is there timeless. You go. It's, yeah. it's so, I mean, you guys, you guys do some real. I think uh, I, I won't call them hard-hitting pieces, but yeah, like you do, like real, almost like you went up to Foxconn and gave them the beat down. Oh, yeah, and yeah, I, I just yeah. sitting there watching this, yeah. wondering. Do they know who you are and who you work for? Uh, how, thankfully, how does that work? no, nobody knows who I am. Thankfully, <laughs> very low. I'm, no, I'm sure, like I, you know, I'm fortunately not that famous, and I can get away with throwing pizza. Nobody looks twice. No one's like, you know, why is Tom Cruise throwing pizza off the off the bridge? No one. Knows but they think I'm. the Daily Show's coming up to do what? A, a, a promotional piece on Foxconn? Oh, I see what you're saying. Yeah. Uh, no, I mean they know they know our gig by yeah. this time. You know, yeah. they know the Daily Show. They know it's satire. They know it's on Comedy Central. They have, uh, people vet what they Google what yeah. the hell is going on. So so people know who we are. And you know what? In America, people want to be on TV. <laughs> You'd be surprised at how many people want to be on TV. Huh. Yeah. It's, it's, yeah. That's the people are asking how how did you get this guy? Why did he say this? Yeah. No one forced him to say anything. No one tricked him. Yeah. He just wanted to be on TV. <laughs> and, and that explains a lot of the comedy segments. Yeah, yeah. People want to get their point of view across yeah. because they believe in it. And and honestly, we don't. We don't manipulate. Uh, we we work hard not to take people out of context. Mm -hmm. That people are saying what they want to say. Yeah. yeah, you know. Do you, do you worry though that sometimes you're you're preaching to the choir on the da the Daily Show? Has there been this effort to go after both sides more so than maybe eight years ago? Yeah, that's a that's a d decent question. Uh, we no, we don't. We don't care. <laughs> yeah. We our, we use our judgment is we use our internal barometer to decide what's what we want to make poke fun at yeah. and you know hope we get hope we get people behind us but we don't pander i don't yeah. think we pander to either side you know mm -hmm. in, in in the in our internal discussions we just try to figure out what's funny yeah and then we let it let it let it ride mm -hmm. you know? and i mean this this cycle we we you know i not not that i don't even have to defend our record but we we were yeah. going after everyone this you know, cycle i noticed you know? it this this year yeah. it seemed yeah. to be a little bit different yeah. how's yeah. it been at the D what is your takeaway so far that you've seen anything funny that we had that hasn't made it under the regular yeah. newscast yet uh, i went there yesterday and i encourage all chicago people to get in your cars and drive downtown right now it's <laughs> a great time between between the dnc and the protests and the counter protests and the CPD and the Homeland Security, uh, Secret Service, uh, five presidents, and <laughs> daily shows on personal security. It's a great time to be near the United Center right now. You yeah. should probably have a picnic out there today. Uh, so true. Yeah. Now, obviously, the show used to be all John Stewart. Now he's yeah. doing Mondays, and you have a, a great, a talented cast of people. But mm. I wonder, from a from a, a business standpoint, is it like Squid Games? Like you guys, uh, <laughs> like, uh, who's gonna be the guy? No, uh, no, it's not quite Squid Game. But you know, that's one thing about the Daily Show. It's very collegiate. Yeah. I think you'll, if you ever get any alumni on the Daily Show, if you ever get to speak to them, 
Yeah, it's 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 like a, a big family, honestly. Even even till today, if, you know, when I go on Colbert show, yeah. it's still that that Daily Show correspondent. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, you know, we, we were in it, we were in the trenches <laughs> yeah. together. So, uh, you know, John Oliver, same thing. I, yeah. When I first moved to America, I, I reached out to him to ask him for advice on how to do this very specific job, which is to be a non-American correspondent on a Daily Show, <laughs> and very welcoming. He always gives me advice. You know, it's, it's very collegiate, and the alumni is very strong. So, no, it's not Squid Games at all. I, I don't think <laughs> it's very. Well, it's very the fun. Daily Show airing for Chicago all week long. You can find uh, Ronnie on social media or check out his website, RonnieChang.com. Thanks for being here. No, thanks for having me. Great to see you. Look forward to seeing your stuff this week. <laughs>